going to be doing an update on Veristem. I have not looked at this ticker in a very long time, um, but I noticed it was down big in pre-market, which usually means we got some bad data or an offering at these level of companies. Uh, Veristem is very speculative, oncology. Uh, a couple years ago, or several years ago now, this guy went on a nice run, um, uh, getting Copictra finally through the FDA. Man, I remember this guy was trading. What was it? We were at ten bucks. Yeah, made some nice money here. And then uh, sales were junk. Well, offerings and just she got shorted into oblivion. It's been a rough time for her. Anyway, let's move on to... Is that where we're still at? Yeah, we're pretty much still there. But let's see what this guy's got right now. We could probably see this one right here. Coming out to the retest. So we're going we're gonna down about probably around 50 cents if we can probably get that for the bounce talk about that later anyway let's get into the press release so corporate updates so VS actually you know what let's do that first let's go with their um, mech inhibitor here All right, here's here we go here we go so they actually before I get into individual programs here, they have a really good combination here with the RAF mech clamp, um, the VS66, which is uh, the RAS RAS pathway working there. Yeah, there it is. Um, and that's the idea: is that they're gonna, it's they're maximizing the RAS um, RAS pathway in inhibition. But then they also have uh, the FAK uh, FAC inhibitor, which is also very important. Um, if I remember this r right, the RAS pathway will help inhibit the RAF, which will help inhibit the, or sorry, activates. I'm using inhibits. Um, activates the RAF, which then phosphorates phosphorylates the mech which phosphorylates the R E R K. So you got RAS goes to RAF, RAF goes to mech, mech goes to ERK, which then stimulates tumor growth. Um there are some other agents out there that are working towards, you know, individually attacking the RAF and the mech. Um but unfortunately that fails, those inhibitors typically fail because the FAK um, pathway, the FAC uh, pathway, kind of gets activated at that point, and well, if you don't inhibit that, you're still going to get some sort of negative feedback, and well, you still get tumor growth. So, if the company can prove that VS six seven six six does a decent job at RAF MEK, your RAF mech clamp, and the company can prove that the FAK FAC inhibitor, the FAC inhib, VS6063 work, you might have a really good combination, which you know you can start to see in this um, pipeline here, that um, You might have a really good chance of knocking out, you know, a good chunk of cancers. Um, the RAS is the most mutated oncogene found in cancers. It's like around 30%, I think the company said a while ago. I'm going off memory here, but... Um, but anyway, these guys are definitely pushing to get this done. It'll be interesting to see what happens here. 
They have some combinations, Notice, Amgen, and Marathi. This is, I mean, both of these are huge, but these guys are essentially considered the uh, leader in the crass RAS pathways. So, to be noted. Um, so now let's go to press releases. See what you guys got. So that was the ramp one. Okay. Two oh one. Was that low grade serous ovarian cancer, I think it is. Ah, there's the negative reaction. That's why we're down big. Did not meet criteria to continue to expansion phase. Unfortunately, that was, yeah. So that's a big one. So we still got some stuff moving on. Ooh. Now that could be big. Because we want, that's the thing, we want, well, for, depending on which one we're talking about, but we want this to be locked down by the company. Because if these combinations work, <whistles> watch out. Uh, so this is what we're moving forward. So this is the one we're moving forward on. Okay. All right. So we have no numbers here. Things look great. Yeah, it's good. Encouraging results, which is true. I mean, you can say encouraging results, but no data points there. Oh, okay. So never mind. They're not updating. This they're just going off this first and interim. The question is, is when we get in the real one? So okay. Okay. Uh. So nothing now, and they're doing something, what, Q4 was it? Won't know until next year, probably. But, so these guys are getting ready to gear towards something. So this might be the, their first major target here. Okay. Uh, this is the one that did not hit. And here's the data. Okay, number. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not good. So not everybody showed. And a decent, I mean, not horrendous. So this is not the population we are going after. It'll be interesting what they get out of this analysis, conclusions, what they can get from this. Okay, so.
Okay, so we should get some data with. Well, we got Lumacross. Yeah. Okay. So they're really trying to lock down the whole the whole uh, chain there, the whole uh, RAS pathway. So they're going with the metastatic cancer. We'll see. I mean, uh, yeah, there's the big thing right there is what their target goes. It's mutated 90% of pancreatic cancer tumors. So even if you can show, I mean, pancreatic cancer, if you can show that this thing at least slows it down, it's something that they can, gives them a shot for at least, a, you know, prolong some life for a, for a decent period of time. Keep in mind, most people, you know, most people, most, uh, uh, you know, candidates fail this. Okay, so 2038. So they got 2040 with the combination. Okay. And a decent amount of cash. So 110 million in cash. Uh, let's go to... BSTM. Take a look at some of the numbers here. Not looking good. So, but they got 150. I forget what's their. Not a lot of debt. Okay. Not not terrible. All right. They're getting stuff done. All right, so I'm sorry I'm not talking too much here, but let's uh, let's come up with a game plan here. Uh, right now we're gonna wait for this to shake out because we're cranking to lows, and you're gonna get a lot of people. You're gonna get shorts piling on. It's outside the monthly Keltner channel, so we should see a snapback, hammering to all-time lows. But all-time lows means what? I mean, we're down 69% now. So I'm going to take a look. I think we're going to look around 50, 55 cents to be a potential buy. I'll put that into the um, sheets today in the uh, compounding healthcare. Marketplace here. Ah, there you go. Eh, maybe. But I'll take it. The only thing is, is like it's the it's not over with, but I would say that this information is telling us that it's not it's not a bad target. It's just it's not potent. It's going to need help. It's one of those things where it's I don't want to say it's like whack a mole, but it's like one of those things where in a cartoon where like the characters like trying to pl something's like coming out of the water you're like water's coming out of something and they put their hand in there and the water pops out someplace else to put their hand there and it's like it's that's the problem with cancer it's, it, it the the body wants to live so cancer although you know we want it out of our body it, it's it's trying to evade the immune system your own immune system and it's trying to live so it's going to find ways to keep carrying on so it, this is something where 
you know, it's not a blanket situation. Like, they're going to have to figure out where this really works. It might be operative in everything, but they need to figure out specific populations and mutations and with combinations where this thing really, really works. Um, obviously, it would be great if this was a monotherapy and, you know, you throw it into 30% of cancers and no matter what, it, does, it helps out in some way. You know, I don't. I mean, we, that might be true in some in some cases, but maybe not enough to hit primary endpoints. You know what I mean? So we gotta wait and see. They got cash, so I'm not worried. Like if if this thing goes down to around fifty cents, I'll I'll buy up on for the snapback, and then leave the rest. And I probably after that, I probably go a decent size, and then let the rest run for a very long period of time. Um, because these guys are getting close to registration trials. There's, I mean, the, if you, we go back to the pipeline, they got enough going on. Oh, that looks pretty cool. So, they got enough going on here. That I think they'll find something. They have some partnerships, which is big. So I'm going to leave it there. We'll see what the company does. Now, they obviously, I don't want them, I want them to find something here and then push it, get it, get it to market. And then once they get de-risked, they get some money coming in. These other ones can, you know, move forward and they can put the pedal down on those guys. Hopefully these guys can move along, you know, Amgen, Marathi, hopefully giving, uh, helping out as much as they can to get that done. And I could show that there's, the, the combinations, because that's what we're working on, right? So this is a really great combination on paper. These guys are trying. I mean, this is Lumacross. That'd be really nice to get across the finish line with these guys. If it improves everything that this is already in, that this is already in, that's big. All right. So I'll change those in the uh, sheets and, um, you know, hands off for right now. All right, good luck, guys.